Hello, this is Adam from Great Out Running, our Adam Nodwell, the runner. Uh, I'm gonna take you through uh, my hit list for 2022. It's the middle of February, it's basically the middle of February, so January has already happened, half of February has already happened, uh, but I've got my, my hit list here for um, 2022, taking you up to the end of August, because there's a very special race at the end of August I'm doing, um, which you'll find out about in a minute. Uh, I've got, I've got my notepad here with my hit list for the year 2022. Uh, I've drawn out of this Fell Runners calendar, a uh, very lovely fixtures calendar, and I've been drawing it all on my um, drawing it all on my calendar, my Orate design calendar. Uh, it's all come from there. So, if you've got any recommendations for races that I should try in the in the year just let me know um, but this is a hit list it's not I'm not dedicating my life to doing these races some of these have some of these on this list there's like four or five per month uh, some months busier than others like May June very very busy months but there's a lot of midweek races in June and things like that so let's start with um, let's start with January January I had a bit of an injury to start with because I was rushing to get my annual mileage in at the end of December, something I'd quite like to not have to worry about this year. Uh, 16th was the first race I managed to take part in on the 16th of January, that was a Stanbury Splash. Um, if you're looking for races early January, that's a really good one to do. Uh, 23rd of January, which is which was um, a couple of weeks after that, the Pico uh, the Pico Cross Country at West Park. Now, now I'm part of a cross country league, so that's my um, my cross country league, which is drawing to a close this Sunday uh, with round A. But it is currently looking like this outside. Um, it's raining, and the, we're in the middle of uh, we're in the middle of Storm Eunice. Uh, so we don't know we don't know if that's going ahead or not. But I think I'd imagine the snow shouldn't stop cross country really. So we'll see, we'll see. I hope, hopefully it'll be good. I'm feeling pretty good. I had a good park run this morning uh, in Bradford. Um, on the 29th of January, on the 29th of January, we had the Kirkstall Carvely Cutter, which is my race. I was the organiser for that race, but obviously with, uh, with that race, I had all the course marking to do. So I had, I had a good three days worth of activity out of that. Um, not running the race, etc., but like uh, cleaning up, running the race, essentially, like being the race director, it's, you, you end up doing pretty much the whole course a couple of times over um, and as a little celebration for hosting that race I did the St Aidan's Winter Beast which I entered on a whim and uh, came 15th in which I was quite happy about so it must have uh, something was something started working by the end of January I was absolutely ruined at the beginning of January and I'm glad that like by the end of January I was feeling a lot better and just feeling a bit faster a bit stronger beginning of February uh, I had Rumbold Stride, uh, which is another one you should, everyone should enter. It's a really fun race. Um, I'd say that it's like it's a hike essentially, like a lot of walkers enter it, but it, it has pretty much been completely dominated by runners. Like a lot, I think the majority, the vast majority of people do it are runners. Um, brings us to um, tomorrow's round day around a uh, Pico um, cross country. Uh, and then for next week, we've got the High Cup Nick Fell race, which I'm really looking forward to uh, on the 26th of February, because when on the first weekend of opening, our club, North, East, uh, North Leeds Fell Runners, um, had 33% of the entries uh, we've got a massive army going to that race, which I'm really looking forward to because most of the time I'll enter a race and be one of a couple or just on my own as, as, as a club. So it's really nice that we've uh, finally got a club championships to look forward to. And there's a few races on that list as well, on this list. Um, so going into March uh, on the 6th is Ilkley Moor Fell Race. I've got... Um, I didn't have a very good time in 2020 doing that race. Um, I, I don't know if I was, I wasn't particularly fit, not feeling particularly well, so I'm looking forward to giving that a good bash. Uh, then on the 20th, we've got Hepton Stool, which I'm really glad to be getting back to. Uh, that's a 25 kilometer uh, long fell race. Really, really fast fell race, really fast. Um, lots of 
short, sharp descents, um, and then the length makes it just a very strange race, actually. It's very fast, but it's also very long. Uh, on the 27th of March is a weekend I'm leaving free to maybe do the Sheffield Half Marathon, a road race, uh, or maybe Coldale Horseshoe, or maybe um, the, what's it called in the Peak District? Edale Skyline. I've got my eyes on Edale, um, maybe, but I might be doing the Sheffield Half uh, half Marathon. So we'll, we'll see. It's, it's dependent on someone else um, who I'll do it with. So we, we haven't decided whether we're gonna do that yet. Um, then on April, this is where it gets a bit funny in the spring. Uh, April, May, June are really strange months. It's where you start getting the long days, so you get lots of evening races. And I really like doing them. I think they're really, really fun. And I think like, you know, they're like snack races, essentially. Uh, so on the 5th, 12th and 19th, I'm going to take part in the Bunny Runs, which are up um, near Peniston, I think, um, at the beginning of April. And then it's not until the 23rd where I'll do the Newlands Memorial Fell Race. Um, but I'll be having to take that easy because I've got my first A race of the year uh, on the 30th, the Three Peaks, Yorkshire Three Peaks race. Um, I did it in October last year and fell short of my PB time by about 40 minutes. And I'd really like to close that gap. I think I did have a good run when I got that five, I got 419 in 2019 and then in 2021 got just under five hours. It was like 4.59. I'm not sure if I can get PB again, um, but if I can get close, closer to that 4:59, uh, that that 4:19, I'll be I'll be just to be dead happy because that's like a 40 minute slower. So we'll see. It's, that's I'm going to treat that as an A race. I'm going to going to train specifically for that. Newlands the f the week before. Um, I think I've done it once before, and again that time it was the week before the Three Peaks race again. So I was taking it easy and I was just enjoying myself. Um, on May the 4th, we'll test my tired legs with Blackstone Edge, uh, first midweek race in May. And then, in fact, a lot of these are, a lot of the May races are midweek. On, on the 10th, a week later, Jack Bloor fell race, something I've, I've still managed to not do. Um, and on the 14th, we've got the North Leeds 50, a race I'm organising. Um, that's in, well, North Leeds. <laughs> And uh, on the 15th, we've got the Calderdale Relay, which I haven't got a place in just yet, but we'll sort that out and hopefully they'll give me a, an afternoon start so I can clear up after my, my ultra on the, on the Saturday. Uh, for the record, I'm organising the North Leeds 50. I'm not running it, but I will be running around the week before a lot. On the 21st, uh, this will be a real test. And there's... In fact, the last two weekends of May, there's two longies and two shorties, and I'll do one or the other. So the longies on the 21st and 28th, uh, on the 21st would be the Old County Tops, but I'd need a partner for that, and I haven't sorted that out yet. Uh, and on the 28th would be Helvellyn and the Dodds, another race I've not done yet. Um, the short versions, uh, the short alternatives would be the Charles, that's my Bluetooth speaker. Uh, the short versions were the Charlesworth Chase on Sunday, which I'd really like to do because uh, you get to down a pint at the end. And then Hutton Roof Crags on the 29th. Uh, so I'll probably do one or the other. Um, the Old County Tops, I think, would be a really good training run for this race I have in August. Uh, a third, basically a 30 miler with lots of, lots of climbing. Moving into June on the 1st, Otley Chevenfell race. Uh, there's no excuse not to do it, it's on my doorstep. It's just great fun, it's about a mile long. Uh, on the 16th, sorry, on the 9th, on the 9th, we've got the Kettlewell Anniversary, that's a North Leeds Fell Runners organized event. Um, I'll be organizing the registration and the back end stuff. Hopefully I'll get a chance to run it. Um, I didn't run it last year, um, but actually I'd quite like to, I quite fancy running it. On the 16th, which I believe is another midweek one, Beamsley Beacon, I think that's a Thursday. And then on the 18th, uh, Saturday the 18th, would be the East Leeds 50 Ultra, which is another one of my races, so I'll be organising that, so I'll be working around that as well. Uh, and then the day after, on the 19th, a couple of club mates, or a few club mates, are doing the Bob Graham round over a weekend. Um, and I'm hoping on the Sunday to catch up with them and just do the, the, the last section that they'll do, which I believe might be leg two. 
Uh, on, on the 29th, we've got Crag Vale, uh, another one I did for the first time last year, really fun race in uh, near Mytham Royd, I think, or Mytham Royd and Heb Hebden Bridge, uh, organised by Calder Valley Fell Runners. Um, and then moving into July, I've got Skidor on the 3rd, if I can get in, didn't get in last year. Hold up, that's the weekend of um, Ultra Trail Snowdonia, and I've agreed to be part of the event team for that. I'm going to be course marking a section or a couple of sections with my friend Paul. Um, so that's going to be a different kind of training. That's going to be being out on the mountains um, for a long period of time. And I hope that that's training, a good training in itself. On the 9th, I've got Revenge, uh, I've got Revenge with Wasdale, uh, which I've completed once and then DNF'd once because uh, it was, I wasn't fit enough. I nearly said because of the weather, but it wasn't because of the weather, it was because it wasn't fit enough, regardless of the weather. On the 17th, we've got Ingleborough. And then on the 24th, once again, I've got Hull Moss, my fourth attempt at Hull Moss, uh, where I plan to hopefully take a record there. Um, I'll, that's probably my last chance to really give a race a go before I have to calm down uh, before the end of August. On the 30th of the final, the final ultra of my ultra series, which is the West Leeds 50, on the 30th, that's a Saturday. So we move in then into August. So on the 6th, we've got Borrowdale, and on the 7th, I've got Saddleworth. Now, I did think about trying to do both of them over the weekend, a Saturday and a Sunday. I thought, oh, that could be really good training for this race at the end of August, but I think it's only three weeks away from the race so I was thinking maybe I'll choose one and do one and run nice and conservatively uh, I know that Borrowdale does have cutoffs uh, but I think within the cutoffs I should be still be okay to run it I'm not too sure about Saddleworth but I've not done Saddleworth before so it'd be interesting it'd be interesting to see um, Saddleworth a lot closer so where am I going I'm going to France well I'm not going to France I'm going to Italy France and Switzerland on the 26th, I'm doing the UTMB CCC race. It's 100K uh, up in the Alps. I'll be there for 11 days at the end of August. Really looking forward to it, and I don't want to fuck it up. This is where my plans end. Um, I can worry about September once I've done this, because this is my A goal, the CCC. That's my A goal for 2022. Am I nervous about it? Yeah, pretty nervous. Um, although I know that I've done things as hard or as technical before, but I was fitter two years ago. I'm not as fit as I am. I'm not as fit as I am two years ago. I'm fatter than I was two years ago. All those races are there to keep me fit. Um, I'm not necessarily running them all as A races. I'm not necessarily running all of the races. That's just a, that's just a whitt whittling, whittling them all down to a smaller list, which is that from the, the list of everything, from the list that all these bloody races exist. If I didn't have a job, I'd race every day uh, or three times a week or something. But I, I, I you know, there's real life and um, it's, it's too easy to get carried away. On top of all this, uh, there's a few rounds I'd like to give a go at. Um, there's been mention of the Abraham's T round, or is it the George Fisher T round? The George Fisher T round. Want to give that a go. Want to give the Ilkley Skyline another go. And there's obviously the Great Owl Running GPX Grand Prix, which is about 20 different events, um, which I hope to give a go uh, as well. There might be week once the, the, the days get longer. I think uh, I'll be doing those in the evenings. Um, but the number one thing this year is just to stay fit and not get injured and or just try my best to avoid getting injured and um, doing my exercises and doing my stretches and doing my yoga and being good to myself and eating properly. Uh, speaking of which, I've just started a bloody diet, uh, which I don't know why it's taken this long, but I've just I've just started it. My, my, basically, my plan is back in... Back in like February 2021, doing it was during the um, it was during the Harewood heist recording. Of, well, listen to it. I'm fat. <laughs> I'm fat at the moment. I weighed set, um, usually weigh about 65 kilos, and I hit 70 last week. So 
few more of these, I'll be right as rain. There you go, Project 65. So Project 65 is on the way. Um, I was 72 kilograms just after Christmas and I've just dipped under 70. So I wanna be 65 kilograms by the summer. Um, again, I know it, weight might not be, it might not, I might gain muscle. Anyway, whatever, I just think it's a good aim, thing to aim for. I eat too much, I know I eat too much. I eat too much bread, I eat too much potatoes. There's a potato in the oven right now. Um, portions, but eat big portions. I snack, I eat too much sugar, I eat too much sweets. I'm gonna be a good boy in 2022, all right? Just leave me alone. Why am I telling you? Because this is accountability. This video is essentially accountability for me. Thanks for watching, but this is for me. Um, it's, it's, it's to keep me accountable. And maybe I'll watch it back every week and see what happens. Um, I'm expecting at least 50% of this to get done. Um, and if I do, that'd be great. But the weight thing, that's important. I need to get that sorted. There's my list my hit list for 2022. Um, I'd imagine, I'll put, a, I'll put a small list out after CCC, but I'm just not thinking about that right now because that's an A goal. There's no need. There's plenty of fun stuff coming up in, um, for the rest of the year, but I think to, hike, to finish my calendar at the end of August and then start again in September, I think is more wise because September could be a write-off. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Let me know what you're doing. Um, feel free to invite me to something and we'll see how, you know, see if I can squeeze one of those in. That was my list for 2022. Hope your running is going well and I'll see you soon.